Hey, thanks so much for clicking on this video and welcome to the haves and the have nots review here on YouTube. If you're a fan of Tyler Perry, you've come to the right place. Be sure to click that subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content on the channel. And also check me out on these social media platforms and links in the description below will lead you to my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook group, and Facebook page. Once again, thanks for joining in and enjoy the video. All right, have and have not fans. Now, I did an episode leaks video on Exhausted several weeks ago, but since we now know this is going to be the season five finale, episode 33, airing on November the 6th. So, once again, this Tuesday is the 30th. This is going to be the pre season finale episode. Then next week, November 6th, that's going to be the season finale for season five. And if I were to make an estimation, I would say that the show will be returning in January. That's my thoughts on that. Um, but yeah, season five finale exhausted. Jim thinks he holds all the cards, but there's a ticking time bomb coming his way. There was so much to unpack from this. I remember doing the video a few weeks ago and, uh, you, you know, I, I think I did, you know, a few theories here and there, but now that we know, number one, this is the finale, and number two, there's a lot more at stake than I originally thought. When I say Jim thinks he holds all the cards, this is like the first time in a while that Jim seems to have the upper hand on something. But ever, and I've said this time and time again, ever since he got out of jail back in season four, nothing has gone right for him at all. None of his old tricks are working. It, it really mirrors um, Candace with Charles. Like none of her old schemes are extortion plans none of that shit's working i mean in regards to charles i mean she did try the extorting from you know well intercepting the transaction of wise inheritance but we saw how that went but when it comes down to it jim thinks he holds all the cards now what could he be holding number one you know keeping his son safe from the malones he got him out of jail Number two, maybe he finally comes up with a plan to get Benny to give the money back. But my thing is with this, I need to see how much ground we're going to cover in the upcoming episode of the committee. Because, you know, is it the same day and stuff like that? I mean, there's only so much that can be done, especially I don't know how long the banks open because I know in my, you know, neck of the woods, uh, like banks typically close around what four thirty five o'clock sometimes six depending on if it's like the drive through or if you're going inside so i don't really know how big city banks work if they're open all day and night i don't know but i do know that time that candace says she wanted to transfer the money to benny's account she said she would go to the bank and that was at night so i i don't know um but there's a ticking time bomb coming his way now let's think of ticking time bombs number one the malones find out where why it is and they come after them um, and Mama Rose would probably be pissed off that why uh, Jim took his son out of jail when he needed to die based off him attacking him alone. That's one possibility. Uh, number two, it could be the investigation in regards to the prostitution ring at the hotel. I do feel like that would be a bit too fast in terms of story because we really haven't gotten too much on it except for Broderick telling Catherine there's an investigation going on. Uh, number three, I do know in the next episode of the committee, we do have George back. So I'm very curious on what what's up with him. Does he find out all the evidence against the criers is gone? Do, does he talk with Sarah? What kind of phone call is he getting? Because I really feel like we need more weight on that plot. You know, he, we haven't seen him and Sarah in quite some time. So that could be a possibility. Like, you know, George is coming for him. Um I don't think Hannah's going to come after him unless it's something involving, you know, she thinks he sent somebody after Benny or somebody after her. Ticking time. Out. Somebody even told me, hey, what if it's Celine? That is a possibility, but I don't think the plot needs her right now. We do know she's going to be in season seven, though, so that's going to be a little ways off from now. Um, I think that's about it in terms of major threats that I can think of off the top of my head, so... Jim thinks he holds all the cards, but there's a ticking time bomb coming his way. Yeah, I, I don't know, guys. You got me. I mean, exhausted. I mean, that defines so many characters. Like, you know, Hannah. I think I even talked about that in my um, original episode leak video. You, you look at Hannah and everything she's going through. And then, you know, she's definitely exhausted fighting to keep her family in order, but it's not working. And then the next episode, episode 34, which I imagine wouldn't air until, oh, IMDb actually had January the 9th. That's the episode 
date for Exhausted, so they probably they changed that, obviously. But Speak Through It, I'm guessing that's the episode that airs at the beginning of 2019, Speak Through It. Um, Speak through the pain, speak through the agony, speak through the story. Like I said, all I'm saying is this, and this is just speculation here. This, I want to end the video on this. Remember how I talked about, you know, in the episode, the committee, we see Derek and Hannah looking like they're getting it on on the couch. Do you think it could evolve into the point where clothes start coming off? And then we discover whether or not he has the lion tattoo. Imagine if he does, what would happen then? You know, speak through it as, as in speak through the tattoo, how he got it, the situation. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But overall, folks, um, that's my last bit of speculation on Exhausted, the season five for now finale at least until tuesday night when we see the episode the committee and then the trailer for the finale and hopefully the trailer is really good to get us hyped up but uh let me know what you think what kind of ticking time bomb do you think jim is needing to be watching out for but to be honest um knowing jim when it comes down to it anytime he thinks he's holding all the cards he's just even more arrogant than ever and then it ends up crumbling under his feet so yeah do you think is this the malones is it george is it hannah is it wyatt uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already as always and i will talk to you all soon